Hey everyone, it's me, and today is Sunday, and I'm going to do my Monday Makeup Monday video today because tomorrow is Will's first day back to school. He has been out of school since the very first day in March that they let everyone out for the pandemic. And I just had a tutor. He was doing like the virtual school. And we just found out yesterday that they have put the mask mandate back on, which I, I just did not want him sitting there all day with the mask on. So we will see how it goes. So, okay, this is a video that was hard for me to do. It was requested by one of my Instagram followers. I asked her to give me a suggestion for makeup day, for my makeup video this week. And she suggested that I do this tag that has gone around and she sent me Kathleen Lights. So three of my favorite products from each category. Well, that is very, very hard for me. So what I did is instead of saying, you know, this has been my, you know, favorite forever, or if you have oily skin, this is, I'm just going to stick to what are my three favorites right now in this moment. And a lot of this is very true because I just cleaned out my makeup so harshly that I don't have a lot of everything anymore. So I put everything in this box so that I could go through. What I did is I, as I put my makeup on today, and oh, I'm regretting putting my hair up now, but that's okay. I just don't like it like this. Everything I used, I put in here as I used it, starting with primer. Okay, I used to always use a primer. Now I kind of do a little, it's kind of like skincare slash primer. Today I use the Sisley Double Tensor, which has been a long time favorite. A lot of times, I mean a lot, a lot, a lot of times, I will use the Multi Action Sculpting Cream from City Beauty. You can see I'm almost done with that one. I got a new one over here to open. I even use this at night. This is just like a soothing cream to me. It's just, I like it. I like the way it makes my skin look and feel. And then if I had to pick a third one right now that I use, it's this Rodeal sculpting gel dragon's blood and i like the way this one you push down on that and then an amount comes out and i usually just use one pump for my whole face so that would be my primers foundation you know i've been loving this so right now the three favorites i would choose would be the valentino this shade is the mn3 it's like medium neutral three i do have the warm one on the way it would be my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I did not, pick, I just picked up a bottle. I didn't pick out the color, but Tawny or Desert Beige are the ones that I would use right now. This is the Honey Bronze, which is the one I use when I'm at my darkest. And then this foundation, which is the YSL All Hours 24 Hour. And maybe that's why I'm not as concerned with a primer because I like long wear foundations. Isn't it funny how you, this just happens and you figure out things? So this is the BD45. I can do BD35 mixed with B50. I've done a lot of different combinations, but BD45, if I had to use one, that would be it. Okay, after that, I usually would set my makeup. So I thought of loose powders. And the three that I still have and love, first of all, would be this new one from Laura Mercier, which is the Honey Star. But several of you had said that you tried it and you thought it was too shimmery for all over your face. I would say just use like two to three dots. Don't like, like I was storing this upside down so I could read the bottom because that's how I do a lot of my other ones, but I noticed that it was putting too much in my lid, so I quit doing that, and I just turn it over. It gets a few dots in the lid, and then I use that on the tops of my cheeks, and then I go ahead and do it all over. 
but here again, I'm using the long wear foundations that usually have powder in them and dry fast. So but that is definitely one of my favorites. Then Laura Mercier, just good old translucent. I will always have this, always. And then remember when I told you that when I was watching Hung Van Gogh do the 90s tutorial, uh, he went to use that Chanel loose powder and I thought to myself, I just gave that away. I didn't. I had saved both colors. I have the 30 and the 20, I think. Okay, now that's the bronzing cream. Okay, this is it. Yeah, this is the 40. Now I have 30 and 40. This one is a little bit more tan. I used it today a little bit all over, but not very much. But the fact that I still have those powders means that I really like them. I really probably don't need this 40. I probably could really do the 30. Matter of fact, this 40 will probably be out of here. Then we go to bronzer. You're not gonna be surprised. I love this bronzer so much. It's the new Le Beige's Cream Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream in Deep Bronze. And I just feel like this has changed my whole makeup game and my look. I can just get much more of a warm face I don't know, I just love it. I haven't even experimented with like any different brushes or anything. I use the IT brush with it, but every day I have used this, I have loved my makeup. It's been more of a healthy, natural, just glowy makeup. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Then the other bronzers, I have been using the Physician's Formula in Deep, I think is what it is, yeah, Deep Bronzer. It's just a beautiful color and the smell is so good. But you can see how much I've used there. I love it. Oh, it smells so good. And then this was a toss up. I could not decide between the Buxom Backyard Bronze or the Hula. But I think, you know, like if I had to just pick three, I think I would pick Hula because what I do like about Hula is when I'm not really trying to look bronzy and I just want to contour, Hula is perfect for that. And it's really good on your lids too, like for an eyeshadow. So that is my three bronzers. Okay, blush. That's a tough one because blushes kind of go in and out with me. Sometimes I want a real blushy look, sometimes I don't. Right now, I'm kind of into a blushy look. So I have been loving this Mario Creamy Peach. I ordered at least one more of these. I have, for a couple of years now, loved all of the Wanderlust Buxom blushes. And this one I think is Ibiza, yeah. This one, I think Ibiza would be my main go-to if I had to pick one, but I have, I think I have them all and I still have them. They made it through my brutal cut. And then today I have on, I had to choose a Chanel blush because I just love these. Now, when I went to choose which one, that would be tough. But today I have on the Rose Initial. I think that's like a good pinky blush. It's very kind of neutral, not too blue, not too warm not too bright, not too red, and so I use that today. And I just, Rose Bronze, Tempting Beige, I mean, there's so many good ones. So that's just kind of up to you, but I just love those blushes. They always look good, they smell good, they make you feel good. You guys know I've loved for years and years and years the Laura Mercier Buff. That's such a good one. Years and years and years, I have loved the MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre and Painterly. If you want more of a neutrally pink tone, Painterly, the Soft Ochre is more of a yellowy skin tone. I haven't used this in so long that, honestly, I just, I could probably do without that. And then I have been using, for the last three days, I have been using this, which is the City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment. And I probably, oh, it says twice daily. Okay, I haven't been using it twice daily. I have literally just been using this as a lid primer and I love okay, it. Okay, eyebrows. I, if I picked 
three things. It would be the Anastasia Brow Powder in Medium Brown. That's what I have on today. And then the two brow pencils that made it through the big clean out of my makeup are the Blonde Laura Mercier and the Lancome Light Brown. I used to use taupe and they discontinued it, but light brown is the closest one to that. Okay, eyeshadows. Oh my goodness. This is a tough one. So I looked in my drawer. I still have like the Tartlet palette. You know, I have some different, a couple of NARS palettes and everything, but like right now today, I love this. This has been just one of my favorites. It's the Soft Cashmere by Dior. And then this Tom Ford Mink Mirage. Just, I guess I was thinking too, if I had to just pick three, you know. And then this palette is so pretty. I need to use it more. The cats are playing. But it's the Vive palette. And it just has the most beautiful colors in it. That's what I have on today. And there is this color. I think that color just makes the palette. And then those two colors are really nice. It's just kind of like a one and done palette because I start off with that buff, then I go into delicious, then I do those two, and then after I do my liner, I do that. And I've used that black, it's really good. This is just a really good, good palette. I thought about the Natasha Denona Glam palette. If I had to pick one more, it would be that probably, or Going Coconuts by ColourPop, but I'll just leave it at these three. Okay, um, let's, oh, I forgot to tell you, Brow Gel. Okay, today I used the Brow Freeze by Anastasia. I tried to zoom in a little bit closer today. I really love this. If you want some really precise brows that are just, they feel just, I don't know, slick back, almost like lamination, this is it. But I don't always, I'm not always patient enough to do that and I don't always do that. And the next is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I've gone through many, many, many of these. Same thing with the 24 Hour Brow Setter by Benefit. So those are definitely some favorites. Okay, setting spray. I have one setting spray. I could have sworn that I, you know what? I think that I do have a MAC Fix Plus in the garage on another shelf thing that I've got to clean out. It's a hair shelf thing. And I will probably keep that. But my go-to is the Morphe spray. I spray real good and then I stand in front of the like room area heater, the little space heater. Eyeliners. What I try to do is choose three pencils and three like wing pens. The Noir Intense from Lancome for the black. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Coffee in the brown. I also easily could choose the Onyx in the Estee Lauder. And then one of my favorite lower waterline colors, I have it on today, is the Urban Decay Bourbon. Gosh, that's such a good color. And then for wing liner, I like the black and the brown Benefit Roller Liner. I have on the brown today. And then I'm loving, this is a combination of both. This is that new Valentino that has the skinny pencil on one end and then the pen on the other. And I actually just ordered a Victoria Beckham coal liner that I'll show you when it gets here. But love that, love it. And then Tom Ford. This is something I purchased. This is probably about my third one but it's very brushy. It's not as felt tip as the Benefit. So if I want just a little bit more of a swoopy wing, I think that the Tom Ford does better with that. So those are pretty tried and true. Okay, now we are getting down to the nitty gritty here. Concealer, I have been putting on my concealer at the end of my makeup. I always do. I just see how much I need and I put a little dot. My latest favorite is this. Lancome Tint Idol Ultra. This is the 260 Bisque. Love it. That's what I've got on today for a long time. You can see I'm 
scraping some sides here is the 1.5 neutral from Dior. Love this. And then I will always have this. This little tube of Maybelline Light Medium 30 is good. I just have to be, this I need to put it on my hand first and kind of do like this and then apply it. And sometimes I'm just, I'm lazy and I'm not in the mood, but this is a good, good concealer. Just as good as any other one you see in the tube. I'm still testing out the Sicily. So let me get back with you on that one. I just got okay, it. For mascara, these are the only two mascaras that I have because the Maybelline one that I like so much, I just threw it away because it's just too hard to get off my lashes and I get mad at myself for using it. And the MAC one that I got in that kit um, from the Nordstrom sale, I really like that, but it's it's got that end on it that's really spiky. And I found that it was, I couldn't get as far in to the root of my lashes because I was so scared of that spiky ball on the end of it. I was having to use it more like that and I just, didn't enjoy using it, but it was a good mascara. But my go-tos every day are the either Dior Pump and Volume, but really I could get rid of this and just use this one. It's the Bambi Oversized Eye. I did see that there's another Bambi when I was looking this up, but it's this one, the Oversized Eye. It just has the perfect wand. See how it can get really into your lashes and it is awesome. Comes off easy, all that good stuff. This, okay, this is a joke. Three lip liners, that's just a joke. I can never pick three lip liners. So you guys know it's going to be Lancome Ideal because honestly, if I had to have one lip liner for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Then I picked Nude Sandals from the one that I did with Christian Audette because nothing Nothing, no other lip liner lasts like this one does. And it's a little bit of a darker tone. Here, I'm gonna put nude sandals. And then the ideal is similar, but not quite as, not quite as dark and a little bit more mauve-y. And then this one has just been a go-to for years. If I want to do pink, I have this on today, is the Estee Lauder Rose. So those tones, and they all last well, but the Audette lasts the most. Okay, for three lipsticks, this is funny too, because this goes, you know, it's gonna change. But right now today, of course, Shining Peach by L'Oreal. I never want to be without that lipstick. It is ridiculous the number of backups that I have, but I have learned to get over it and I will just have to deal with it if they discontinue it, but I love that lipstick so much. And then I have really loved this Code 8. I can't remember the name of it right now. La Pisano, I think is what it's called. And it's just, you probably won't even think it's that special, but it just is good. It's just a good nude lip. It just is, the tone is perfect. It's all about the tone. And then this lipstick is just special. It is the Rouge Pure Couture number 59. It's the one that has like that little bit of like pearlescence or shimmer to it. And it just makes a really cool lip. And I would put it on, but I wanna show you the, the glosses that I chose. Absolutely, you, you're gonna know two right off the bat. Buxom Celeste, just I never want to be without it. It makes everything better. This is like if you were making a cake and you had all the dry ingredients and you needed a little bit of butter or cooking oil, just pretend it had sparkles. <laughs> and you put a little bit in there and it brought everything together and made the perfect cake. That's how it, this is. You don't need a lot. You can actually just dot it on your lips, but it just always brings everything together. It is just perfect. This is the San Diego by City Lips. It's just beautiful. It has like a pearlescence to it and it plumps. Hopefully you can see it there. It's just beautiful. It looks good with, it would look good with any of those lip liners. It just will take on more of a brown, more of a, you know, mauve color. And then 
of course I had, you know, others in there, but the tiramisu in the in NYX butter glosses. This is just a good one. And this is a good one. It's good to give people if you're doing a gift. It's it looks so pink right there, but it's good for that Rosie Huntington Whiteley lip. Or if you have a lipstick that's a little bit on the just dull side and it just needs a little something that doesn't have sparkles, that's what this is good for. It's just a good one. And I thought that I kind of was thinking too things that I think a lot of you would like, especially our age. You know, nothing is too frosty. It's just everything is just a good go-to. So that is it. I think, I'm sure I could have, I know I could have gone on and on in the different categories, but I was thinking I could do nail polish and stuff like that too. If this video goes well, then I might do that. I might do like nail polish, hair, you know, some things like that, jewelry and other basics. So I think that's it. And I am going to, I don't even know if I need to do a, Okay, this is why they're my favorite lip liners. I will see which one comes off. Ideal is the one that came off the most. So Estee Lauder and the um, Audette last the longest. Outfit of the day. For some reason, I was so cold this morning. So I have on, you would think it was fall, but I have on that little set from... What is that? Is it, I don't know, it's that bra and underwear type company. I'll put, of course, list them down below. It took forever for me to order this because it was pricey, but oh my gosh, they feel so good. I think it's called butter something and they're just awesome. They make you feel snugly. And the same thing with these pants, the, or these are those commando flare pants. I love them, I may end up I was going to say I may end up getting another pair, but they're thin, so I don't think they're going to be good for really cold weather, but they're perfect for now. And then, of course, my flip-flops. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't even think about my jewelry here. I am really having to adjust to all of these earrings. I don't have that many, like, little ones. And when I put these in, I think they're really too big for me. For the second hole but I just went with it and then I just put on some Sheila Fajal hoops and my castle ring so I'm still looking for something I think I might want to get instead of changing these out every day I really think I might want a little pair of diamond huggy hoops that could just stay in there that is what I'm thinking I'm gonna want so and then oh this is the new Sally Hansen nail polish. I chopped my nails and painted that last night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a good weekend or you won't see this till tomorrow night. So I hope you have a good week and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye. And I just feel like it is just, ah. and then I